Hey, what's going on, fam? Check it out, man. I just got through watching a video um, made by my boy, the unbiased Steve Brimley. Y'all go check out Steve Brimley's channel. Make sure y'all go sub to Steve Brimley, man. Steve Brim is part of the squad, man. You know, Steve Brim, when we first started, uh, when we first encountered Steve Brim, you know, he, um, he, 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 he's a Errol Spence supporter, but he, his name implies what he is. He's unbiased. He, he, he supports Spence, but he calls him out on his shit too. That's what you gotta like, man. It's just like with Buzz supporters, like you know, E Thriller, me, a lot of other channels that support Terrence Crawford. We will call Bud out on his bullshit. Every single time. Ain't, we ain't making this up. You can look back on my channel. On th E Thriller channel. A lot of other channels that fuck with Bud. That's what makes you a, a, a truly unbiased person. And that's what Steve Brimley is. Steve Brimley, he challenged a lot of these channels. Knockout by... It, 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 listen, this is the year of the dragon, my nigga. Ain't no more saying, not saying no names. Fuck these niggas, man. That's just what it is, man. But anyway, let me keep going. He challenged Knockout Boxing 86 TV, Money Brown TV, uh, Boxing Ego. I'm going to say all these niggas. BFTB. Now, BFTB claimed he rocked with Bud back then and something swayed him away from Bud and now all of a sudden he just don't like Bud. Now Bud is a cool and all this other shit. God damn, nigga, like, that ain't loyalty if you ask me because it's like this. What if what if Errol Spence do something this nigga don't like? Then he gonna just jump shit on Errol Spence now? Something went wrong between Bud. What the fuck happened with Bud these niggas? I have no fucking idea. But anyway, all these channels, it's more, it's more. Minus 78 Sports TV, because y'all know how I feel about 78. 78 is probably the only one out of all these cats. Now, you got the Alphabet Boy crew, and you got the subservient to them, which is like Knockout Boxing 86 TV. He's like a, a subservient. Uh, he's like right under BFTB's uh, 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 armpit and shit like that. He's one of them niggas. Like, if, 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 you, uh, if you see Knockout, and you see BFTB, you gonna see uh, uh, BFT uh, knockout under the nigga armpit, and then you you be like yo knockout, what's up? Go give knockout a five and shit. He shake your head, and then his head is moved. And shit, you gonna see all the white deodorant on the nigga hat and shit like that. Real shit. But check it right. He challenged these niggas. Make a positive video about Terrence Crawford, bro. I, I guarantee you. Like name something that he does well. Give him, give him some kind of credit. If you're not a Bud hater, let the fuck y'all is. But if they really not, then prove it by making a positive vibing video about Terrence Bud Crawford. But they won't do it because that's, that's like kryptonite to them niggas to do something like that. So on the Rebel Life channel, I've decided to uh, flip it. I'm going to make a positive video about Errol Spence. But if you look around on a lot of my videos, I actually have positive things to say about Errol Spence all the time. Hell, I just made a fucking intro with him body bagging somebody and shit like this. So come on. But this one ain't going to be too long, y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to. This is all positive shit about Errol Spence, man. Check it out. He has. He's an awesome body puncher he's relentless to the body outside the ring besides all the stuff that you know other people mentioned about him that was negative he does have a cool calm demeanor about himself but the in the ring he turns into a, a, a machine i love that about errol spence jr and i'll never stop loving that about errol spence he, he doesn't give that vibe outside the ring, but the minute he steps in, it's like he is a light switch turns on most of the time with him. He's like a, a different type of motherfucking animal in there. I give it to him. Got power. Fucking jab is one of the best jabs in boxing right now. Errol Spence Jr., one of the best jabs out. Uh, 
he he can box if he wants to he does show boxing ability uh even though it, it, it might not be to the level of other boxers but he he can box he I, I give him that he's a family man has beautiful children uh seems to have a beautiful family beautiful ranch home you know he makes good money decent clothes his clothes game is on point i like his jewelry fly fly dude you know what i'm saying i get that to him he has a pretty good chin i get that to him as well he's 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 unified three belts you know uh fought for his fought for his belts fought a pretty tough fight with kel brook he even admitted that was a tough fight he said kel brook was his hardest fight he fought his ass off broke dude up Busted up his face, broke Uga's face, did his thing, took the belt. He he won the belts. You know, I'll give it to him. Has a pretty decent IQ in that ring. Errol Spence is not a dummy in the ring. It's just like I said, it's levels to it. But he by no means is a, a slow IQ person in the ring. He definitely has ring IQ. Alright, so that is my bid. And I put my bid in to make a positive video about Errol Spence Jr., man. To let dudes know there's no hate over here. There's no hate over here. There's never no hate. But I guarantee you, it'll be a miracle if you see these bitch-ass niggas make, a, make anything positive about Terrence, Craw uh, about Terrence Crawford. They ain't gonna do it. They suckers, bro. You know, suckers don't... Suckers gonna keep doing sucker shit. That's what it is. So shout out to my man Steve Brim. He came up with that idea. And I decided to flip it around on these fucking, on these Spence head niggas, man. I, I, hey, I agree with Coach Malachi, man. I despise these cats, bro. I really do. Because they're bad for the sport. They think they know shit. They don't know nothing. They go off emotions. All these niggas run off emotions. And then they big themselves up like they really doing something. Man, y'all niggas ain't doing nothing, bro. Y'all niggas ain't doing nothing. One of these days, bro, I'm going to do a live. And I'm going to challenge all the niggas. Yo, all of y'all, come over. Speak your peace. And, and we can talk boxing, but I'm going to do it the way I was supposed to have did it to these niggas. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it aggressive. And I'm going to start getting on my shit. Just like they get on their little shit on their shit. Like, okay, look. You want to start that name calling shit? We can do that. You know what I'm saying? As long as there ain't no threats thrown and all that. We, we can do it like that, man. Because I'm not with the threats, bro. Like, I don't, I don't play all those games. Like, a motherfucker threatened me. I'm going to take it real serious, man. And I'm going to take it offline. That's real shit with me. That's how I do. But anyway. <laughs> I love Steve Brand, man. I love all of the fam. Shout out to the mighty Rebel Gang. Shout out to the mighty Wolf Pack. Shout out to the mighty M. O B B Did I say that wrong? My bad. Shout out to the mighty M A C K M O B B. I'm a little tired. Got a little juice left in me to bury these faggot ass niggas though. But anyway, it's Rebel Life. Salute.